Hello everyone, thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. In this video, we'll learn how to get a performance trace. Okay, so the procedure for SAP performance trace. The transaction which is used is ST12. Trace is a utility provided by SAP to help analyze the performance related issues. Okay. So when we take a trace for a program, why we go for a trace? It helps us to analyze the performance related issues. Transaction ST12 for single transaction analysis is a combination of ST05, SQL trace and SE30 that's the APAC trace. So ST12 is a combination of ST05 and SE30 with some enhanced features like aggregation at module level, hierarchical flow of programs in ABAP trace. Okay, so here we have some more advantages like the aggregation at the module level and the hierarchical flow of programs in the so these two we get in this ST12. This has helped to make the tracing and analysis process faster and more convenient. So using ST12, okay, it has simplified. Okay. Uh, the the way in which we do, we do a trace and the analysis is also easy and convenient you know so how to do the trace now execute code st12 okay so this is the initial screen of st12 enter an identifier for the trace in the comment field so in the comment field first enter you have to give a name for the trace line so for which user you are doing it or for which program you are doing it okay then specify the server where the process will be running if the server name is not known then all servers can be chosen so then we have to give a server name here okay so in which instance okay but for whatever uh, uh, thing which is running it can be a dialog or a background so on, on which instance it's running if we, are, if we are not sure then we can give all servers then enter the username and the task type so here you have to enter the username if we know okay so this is for the user trace okay so we have to enter the username okay if it's a bad job then it's it's it will be turning on a generic user id so if we know the user like this particular user we want to take a trace then we use user trace okay in other cases we go for the work process trace okay then and we enter the task type also generally we'll give star because we don't know like the program Okay, whether it'll it'll do some dialog tasks or update or background, so that's why task type is star. The next one is in the back trace, check the with internal tables box to help get information about the internal tables being used in processing. And we have to select this option also with internal tables. Okay, so then we'll come to know like what all internal tables are used the next one is the maximum size of the trace file allowed is 99 mb okay so further options if we go so the maximum size of a single trace file okay is 99 mb and the others are just leave them as default check the within and below box check the with database level ops and kernel level uh, runtime admin okay so these two have to be checked specify the max trace runtime push the start trace button in the first screen so you have to give a maximum runtime for the trace okay generally limited to some uh, maximum thousand seconds or two thousand seconds okay and then say start trace so that is how the user trace is collected from st12 okay so you give a comment you select the servers the username you have to provide here in the task type and then uh, these are generally by default the further options so the maximum size is 99 and you restrict the runtime 
okay and the rest all are default then you select this with internal tables and you say start trace so this is how the user trace is selected from st12 so we know on user id we want to trace what activity is doing on a particular server or n number of all the servers okay now the next one is the work process trace so here we have an other option work process so you can trace a single work process also you enter the code st12 okay here also your identifier for the trace in the comment field okay so you give some identifier then you specify the server where the process will be running okay so you go to the server whatever server you which first work process you want to trace and it's on which server okay so you select this option here you double click on the server it will take you to the sm50 the screenshot will be similar to sm50 which will list all the work process then you click on a particular work process and you say activate trace okay so you specify the server where the process will be running you choose the above trace settings as described in the last slide so this further options remain the same okay you push the start traces for work process button okay you go to this work process button okay in the next screen you have the cursor on the work process that needs to be traced and push the start trace for the selected work process to stop the trace you say end all traces and collect so here also we have to say end all traces and collect similarly for this work process also here you say end trace okay so this is for a user we do it everything from the screen giving the user id for a work process you have to go to this work process tab you have to select the server okay then when you double click it it will take you the sm50 screenshot of that server then you uh, select whatever work process you want to trace and you say activate trace okay so once the tracing is done then you say switch off the trace here you see end traces and collect okay so in this st12 here you will have the list of traces which are collected so you can display whatever trace you want whether it's collected now or before some days okay so this is about tracing a user and tracing a particular work process on a server ST12 offers some new features like activation of trace for a specific user for any task type on all servers to capture the incoming RFCs. So, when you do an ST12 trace, okay, you can collect it for a particular user as we have discussed in the last slides for any task type, okay. So, here the task type we are giving as star, okay. And the other one is on all servers to capture the incoming RFCs. Okay, so RFC calls they hit any server. Okay, so you can use the trace to collect what are the incoming RFCs on all servers. The evaluation of the traces offers features like aggregate at the call level, aggregate at the module level, top down call tree, time split hierarchy top down show test last changed by function sub function etc okay so when you evaluate the trace okay you can aggregate it at the call level or at the modules the sub module levels then it's a top down call tree okay say like program a is calling b okay so it, it the tree is also goes in the similar way then time split hierarchy top down and you can show test the last change by this function sub function everything so st12 is a beautiful tracing mechanism it's nothing but it's a combination of st05 and st30 okay the sql trace and the above trace so here we can collect the trace the user trace and the work process trace okay so these two are the options you give 
user trees we have we know the user id we want to know what all activity that user is doing similarly work process whatever work process is running whether it can be a dialog or uh, you know a background or an update or whatever work process you can correct the trees for the work process also and these are all the features of st12 trees okay aggregate at the call level aggregation at the module levels okay so we'll know better we'll get a better analysis okay more wider uh, things will come to know like we can pinpoint exactly where the problem is so that's why now nowadays like tracing means we use st12 on the old ones like st05 or you know this sc30 okay so this is about the procedure for sap performance trace thank you